Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, I want to sure. hear that. Go just on. want to yeah. pick up on a point that you raised and dropped. Yeah, the retreat. And <laughs> the air train. <laughs> 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 I, I think it's really important, and I think if there's, you know, among the, the many things that Abiy Ahmed may be remembered for, yeah. and not fondly, yeah. is his uh, rehabilitation of his size of, of, work of work. and inviting, in a sense, being the the door opener for Eritrea to, to come rejoin the Egad region, yeah. region yep. um, and to make Eritrea respectable yep. again. And I think that is something that this region. Uh, may live to regret, regret. because Eritrea is unreformed, yeah. uh, as, as we all know, yeah. it's the one country with no constitution, uh, no parliament to speak of, uh, no elections. If you ask Isaias uh, when he's going to hold elections, oh, he's, a, in a uh, thousand years, yeah, when, when he's dead, uh, <laughs> at the earliest. Um, and so, you know, bringing Eritrea back into the and regional yeah, community of yeah, Igad, yeah is just inviting a bull into a china yeah, shop. Yeah, it is going to stall all of the possibilities of reform of the, the regional peace and security architecture yeah. of this part of the world. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, to the extent that Abiy, by making peace with Eritrea, yeah. uh, was the pathfinder yeah. um, and has somehow convinced some other states of the region yeah. that this is a process that should be continued, um, I think that's something that um, is going to be a stain on Abiy's record. Absolutely above and beyond all of the other 